Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find a percent of a number. We'll go through three example problems together, and then I'll give you three practice problems that you can try on your own to see if you have this down. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find 35% of 40. Now remember, percent means per 100. In other words, percent means for every 100 or out of 100. So 35% is 35 over 100 as a fraction. So again, 35% equals 35 over 100. 35 hundredths as a fraction. So here we are finding a percent, a fraction of 40. And that word of tells us to multiply. So when finding a percent of a number, we multiply. Now we can do 35 over 100, so the fractional form of the percent times 40. But remember, we can always convert between percents, fractions, and decimals. So I like using the decimal form of the percent. Now in order to convert a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100 because 35% again equals 35 over 100 as a fraction. And we divide the numerator, the top number of a fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of a fraction, to convert a fraction to a decimal. So we can just go straight from a percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, since we know the denominator will be 100. And a quick way to divide by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number, so right after 35 for 35%. So right here for 35%. And we move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0.35, 35 hundredths. So 35% equals 35 over 100 as a fraction, 35 hundredths. And this is going to equal 0.35 as a decimal, 35 hundredths. So there's our percent, fraction, and decimal. Now we need to take either the fractional form of the percent or the decimal form of the percent and multiply. We're going to use the decimal form. So we need to do 0.35, 35 hundredths, times 40. Let's multiply this by hand off to the side. And remember, when we multiply decimals, we can take out any decimals, multiply, and then place the decimal in our answer. So let's take out the decimal and do 35 times 40. But I like putting the larger number on top when multiplying, so let's put 40 on top and do 40 times 35, and now we multiply. Five times zero is zero. Five times four is 20. We are done with this five, and we are moving over to the three, so we need our zero here. Three times zero is zero. Three times four is 12. And now we add. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus two is four. And then we have one. Now we need to place the decimal. So we go back to the original problem and count how many digits are to the right of a decimal. We have one digit, two digits to the right of a decimal. That means our answer will have two. So one, two digits to the right of the decimal. The decimal goes in between the four and the zero. That gives us an answer of 14. The two zeros to the right of the decimal don't change the value of anything. We have 14 either way, so we can leave those off. 35 hundredths times 40 gives us 14. So 35% of 40, is 14. Let's move on to number two. So here's number two, and we need to find 80% of 115. Now remember, all we need to do here is change the percent to the decimal form and multiply. To convert a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. And a quick way to do that is move the decimal twice to the left. 
the decimal comes after a whole number. So right here for 80%. And we move it once, twice to the left, and we get 0 0.80, 80 hundredths. Now keep in mind, zeros to the right of decimal digits don't change the value of a decimal, so we can leave them off. That way we have less digits to work with. For example, 80 hundredths, 0 0.80, is equivalent to 8 tenths, 0.8. So let's use 0.8, 8 tenths. Now that we have our decimal, we multiply. So we need to do 8 tenths times 115. And remember, when we multiply decimals, we can take any decimals out and then place the decimal into our answer at the end. So we can do 8 times 115 here. But I'm going to put the larger number, 115, on top. So let's do 115 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. And then 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now we need to place the decimal. So we go back to the original problem and count how many digits are to the right of a decimal. We have 1. That means our answer will have one digit to the right of the decimal. So one digit, the decimal goes right here in between the two and the zero. That gives us 92. That zero to the right of the decimal doesn't change the value of anything. We have 92 either way, so we can leave that zero off. 8 tenths times 115 equals 92. So that means 80% of 115 is 92. Lastly, let's move on to number three. Taking a look at number three, we need to find 77% of 56. Let's change the percent to a decimal and multiply. Percent to decimal, we divide by 100, and we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the left. The decimal goes after a whole number, so right here for 77%, and we move it once, twice to the left, and we get 0.77, 77 hundredths. So we need to do 77 hundredths times 56. So now we need to take any decimals out and we will multiply. We'll place the decimal in our answer at the end. So we need to do 77 times 56. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 4 is 46. We are done with this 6 and done with this 4. We are moving over a place to the 5, so we need our 0 here. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 38. And now we can add. 2 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13, and 1 plus 3 is 4. Now we can place our decimal. So looking at the original problem, we have 1, 2 digits to the right of a decimal. That means our answer needs 2 digits to the right of the decimal. So 1 digit, 2 digits, the decimal goes in between the 3 and the 1. That gives us 43 0.12, 43 and 12 hundredths. So 77 hundredths times 56 gives us 43 and 12 hundredths. So that means 77% of 56 is 43.12, 43 and 12 hundredths. So those were our three example problems. Now it's time for you to try three practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. I'll give you four minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was four minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, 40% of 75 is 30. Now notice in my work below, we have two options. Option A, I used four tenths times 75, and then option B, I used 40 hundredths times 75. Either way, we end up with 30. Moving on to number two, 65% of 120 is 78. And then lastly, number three, 83% of 48 is 39 and 84 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how to find a percent of a number. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.